is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today for our third new release of the week, we're taking a look at what might be the most interesting new product we have seen so far this year. All right, so today we're taking a look at the brand new spray putty from Fatboy. Now, this is a brand that I have major respect for. They are actually one of my first brands that I've ever reviewed. Their perfect putty can actually be found in one of the very early episodes here on the channel, and their other products have also made appearances a few times here over the years as well. But when I first saw the ad for this guy right here, the spray putty, it just totally grabbed my attention. I mean, in the past, we've seen things like sea salt sprays, texture sprays, pre-style sprays, but never have we seen something like what they said this is, a matte finish styling product in a spray form, or in other words, their perfect putty in a spray can. I mean, really, it sounds awesome. It sounds almost unbelievable. As soon as I saw it, I knew I needed to get it, get it in here, get it on the channel for you guys as soon as possible, and we're ready to talk about it today. Let's get straight into it. Here we go. Coming across my desk today is the newest product from Fatboy, the Spray Putty. According to the brand, the spray putty is everything we know and love about the perfect putty packed into a styling spray. Specifically, it's said to add texture, fullness, and a soft, malleable finish with great hold. In other words, it's designed to provide all the same features as the perfect putty, only to be sprayed directly into the hair for quick, easy styling. Price-wise, we're looking at $28 for a 4.8 ounce can, and it's only available right now in the U.S. Now, this is usually the part where we take a scoop, but, well, it's a spray can, so, uh, yeah, let's just move on. Now, once again, I am a big fan of the Fatboy Perfect Putty, and I have been for a really long time. So when I saw this advertised as basically the putty just in a spray, I was really excited to try it out. But after I got it and I started using it, well, I quickly realized that this wasn't going to be as straightforward as I hoped. You see, I found out right away that this was not in fact as easy as taking just a scoop of the putty and running it through your hair, or in this case, even just spraying it throughout your hair. Now, really, I'm not here to bash the product. Just stay with me on this. I'm trying to explain it in the best way I can. You see, there's two ways to use this spray that I have found. This is all just my opinion and my experience with the spray talking. But there is two ways that I found that you can use this. It's, you know, right here close kind of close to your head and then you know really far away as far about as far as your arm can go you see my first instinct was to just hold it you know right around here and just kind of go around my head like this but as you can see here what happens is I get an abundance of the spray in my hair almost in just a couple of places no matter how quick I move it it ends up just shiny and somewhat greasy and just looking really wet and sticky and much just like a standard hairspray without the hardening. This obviously wasn't ideal for me, but then I found, however, you can get a somewhat better result if you hold the can, you know, about here, you know, full arm length, kind of, it looks awkward to do this on camera, but you do it like kind of a, an arm length and then you, you know, move it around and you use just very small amounts. I was never thinking that you could use a ton of this at once, but you know, I just don't want to stress that less is more. For me, that did come up with somewhat of a better result or something that I would deem more in line with what I think this spray was designed to do. But then the question becomes, does it produce a good style? Well, really it doesn't look too bad. This is clean, dry hair and I've sprayed it around a little bit and I'm moving it around like I would the putty. And in the end, here's what I got. Again, it's really not too bad at all, but to be totally honest with you, I'm just not extremely pleased with it. I just really don't feel like like using this by itself really just gives me a style that I'm extremely happy with. It just leaves me wanting more, especially compared to the actual putty. Here's a look at a style with one scoop of the actual putty. I think my hair looks awesome here, and this is why I've always enjoyed their putty. It produces really great 
great results. So I know we're going through this quick and I'm throwing a lot at you. So really, what does this mean? Well, for starters, it means that I'm not getting great luck with the spray putty by itself. Luckily though, every product I review gets tested several times in a few different ways. Take this style here, for example. Again, this was achieved with just one scoop of the perfect putty. This looks awesome. Why would we do anything to this? Well, because it's actually really hot here where I live right now. And sometimes that can affect the hold and overall endurance. And what I actually found was that this does work in this capacity as a little bit of reinforcement for the hold, much like a hairspray would. But in fact, this one is more malleable. So it just provides a little bit of reinforcement to that hold without the hardness, keeping it locked in, but just a little bit longer. Through my testing, I also found that this could be used as a pre-styler. Check this out here. Take your freshly washed damp head and just spray a little putty up in there and then blast it with the heat and boom, check out that volume. Now, if your hair is not as thick as mine or even as heavy as mine, you could probably get away with just doing this and being totally done styling. I think it would look probably really good. But for me, I do need to add something else in there to just take the style the full hundred. And we've already talked about the fact that for me, using the putty by itself, the spray putty that is, doesn't quite work by itself. We could go with the perfect putty again, but since we've already seen that once, I figured I would show you guys how it works with another product. So here's a look and a sneak peek, I might add, at my results after adding in one scoop of the upcoming Monarch Matte Paste by Blumon. I think working together, it really just pulls everything into the style and just makes it look a lot better. And the endurance is actually much better here too. Man, I'm getting lightheaded from all this talking. I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you guys and demos, it's just coming at you real quick. So let me try to condense it all and try to make it quick. Do I think this is the perfect putty in a can? I think it could have some of the putty qualities if used correctly, but I don't think it's as good as the putty itself. To me, it really feels more like a matte finish hairspray. And that's good in the sense that it doesn't make your hair hard. It actually does remain somewhat pliable unless you add too much, of course, or keep it close to your head like I did for the first couple tests and it really frustrated me because I didn't know what I was doing wrong and my hair was just coming out shiny and greasy. But all that being said, just using it by itself in my dry hair does not work well for me because one, in order to avoid the shining greasy feeling, I have to use a small amount and two, the small amount I end up with isn't enough to fully style my hair because when I try to move it around and shape it as normal, some of the hold also breaks down on me. Not a whole lot really, but but as I moved it around and just tried to get a normal style out of it, some of that hold felt like it just evaporated as I moved it around. It just didn't quite work for me in that capacity. I do think, however, though, that that did have a little bit to do with my hair type. I do think that's pretty important to point out. I do think you guys in those thinner hair categories might have a pretty good experience with this. For guys like me, though, with the thicker hair types, I found that using it alongside another product works pretty good. Like what we did with the Perfect Putty and using the spray as a finishing spray or using the spray as a pre-styler and then finishing it off with something else. Man, that was a lot. I really hope that was easy and clear enough to follow. As usual, I welcome comments down below. I'm happy to try and help. And again, as usual, I encourage you guys to make your own opinion on the product and decide for yourself if you wanna check it out or not. If you would like to check it out, I will have links in the description. And while you're there, don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Speaking of the channel though, we are not done yet with the new releases. I do have a few more to get to, so keep an eye out for those new video drops. Thanks again for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video. Take it easy, I'll see you next time.